This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... We do not know which martial salvation may come to the table as a result of some seemingly unrelated liberalization. Uh, but we do know, we, uh, we do know this. At its current condition, New Hampshire has no gun laws of any great consequence. For most intents and purposes, only federal restriction limits firearms here. Uh, perhaps not coincidentally, she has, as of 2017, the lowest homicide rate in uh, the U.S. These federal laws uh, surely uh, make our own, uh, our own rate higher uh, than it would otherwise be. They could simply uh, be not replaced after losing them through independence. <laughs> but uh, former state representative Don Gorman reports that within his memory you could also procure dynamite here with little effort and from our uh, general stores. Today, excuse, please excuse, not surprisingly, Today not, surpri today, not surprisingly, there is a flurry of forms, uh, competencies, and licenses which tend to accompany this elderly let, uh, yet cautionable technology. And nevertheless, there are many peaceful uh, and constructive purposes to which uh, it is still put by specialists uh, in peacetime to which it was put uh, by the masses in recent generations and which it is uh, denied them now. The rapid creation of holes, similar reductions of vexatious barriers and vegetations, and uh, the widespread presence or readiness of these devices for use in the national defense may be apprehended without contemplating cruelty instrumental in the uh, instrumental instrumental in the, the rapid construction of hiding places unforgoable in the denial of bridges which an invading force might approach or uh, the reduction of unpeopled structures which he is known to have seized exploding weapons like any other have their place in just wars of self-defense. Having that and peaceable applications, their unrestricted or almost unrestricted access could and, uh, and should return to the peoples of New Hampshire. Um, so it could be with perhaps all objects and devices possessed of any legitimate and constructive use. The restricted technologies of warlike aircraft, of disguisable firearms, and perhaps even anti-aircraft missiles within certain uh, obvious limitations, all or largely all, could be brought out of the government monopolies and back into the light. <coughs> uh, where they are... Uh, where they are restricted by federalistic prohibition, the restriction could be ended by independence and not replaced. Where already vetoed by state or local statute, the prescription could be rescinded or lapse into benign zero enforcement. On the eve with the final battle with his arch rival Hannibal, uh, Scipio Africanus the Elder was said to have captured Carthaginian spies, only to grant them a tour of his army and its works, then uh, send them back 
uh, to the enemy unharmed. Perhaps to disem, uh, uh, perhaps to demoralize, perhaps to procure his objective of an unconditional surrender. On a less ambitious scale, if your military secret is, uh, <clears throat> uh, there are thirty different kinds of weapons. Uh, that, 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 our, that our people have uh, and are welcome to have uh, which no other rank-and-file citizen of any nation is allowed and here are thought to be seventy thousands of our um, citizens who possess one of these weapons uh, then that is a secret well to be shared its promulgation becomes a deterrent of its own the loathsome experience uh, expedients of centralized military secrecy dramatically less required. Mm. Her position is vexatious to assail, uh, not, uh, not because anyone is in ignorance, but because uh, near everyone is informed or in arms. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.